joining us here at the Bear Factory. My name is Jimmy Banish, and in today's video, we are gonna be reviewing Polyfiber 101, or Polyfiber Science, as I like to call it. One of the hot topics when it comes to polyfiber fill is your yield, meaning how many bears can you stuff per one box of fiber that you purchase? What we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you a live demonstration of how important it is to make sure that you're mulching your polyfiber because that will drastically increase your yield by almost 50%. So let's go take a look. One of the most important conversations when it comes to polyfiber is what your actual polyfiber yield is. Here at the Bear Factory, we package all of our bulk fiber in 29 pound boxes when it's shipped. Traditionally, you'll be able to stuff between 45 and 55 animals of the 16 inch style, depending on the body. What's important to realize is that if you're actually utilizing a mulching system, you can increase that yield by almost 50%. So what I'm gonna show you today is how we can take a single box of polyfiber fill, put it inside here into our rolling cart hurricane mulcher, and show you what the difference in volumizing your fiber can make. As you can see here, now that our hopper is full, this represents a full box of fiber at the time of shipping. Now what we're gonna do next is volumize it and see just how much this can expand in our tent. Traditionally, when you're using a stuffing machine, you'll need to take your fiber, fill the machine up halfway and wait 15 minutes before you can start stuffing. As you can see here, in less than 10 minutes, I was able to mulch a full box of fiber, which has not only increased our ability to stuff anywhere from 45 to 55 animals, but now we have the ability to stuff between 75 and 85 animals, but it's also a really great way to fill your machine. Now that the fiber has been volumized, let's see just how many boxes we can fill with this fiber now. As you can see, mulching your fiber can have a drastic difference with your polyfiber yield. We've been able to take a 28 pound box of fiber and volumize it to fill nine full boxes. This will positively impact your bottom line because your cost per unit to fill will drop from around $1.25 a unit to 74 cents a unit. Now that we've reviewed our polyfiber yield, let's take a look at the various types of polyfiber that we offer here at the Bear Factory. Now that we've seen the positive impact of mulching your fiber, let's talk the different types of polyfiber that we actually have here at the Bear Factory. Depending on your stuff of plush experience, we have four different types of polyfiber that can be curated to fit your experience. The first type of polyfiber we have is our two inch virgin polyfiber fill, which is ideal for hand stuffing. Our second type that we have is our virgin inch and a quarter polyfiber fill, which is ideal for stuffing machines. Next, we have our eco or recycled inch and a quarter polyfiber fill. What's unique about this is that it can be used for both hand stuffing experiences as well as being processed through one of our mulching systems and utilized in stuffing machines. What we do not recommend is using the eco fiber directly into a machine because as you can tell by the density of the poly fiber, depending on the lot or the batch that the type one plastics that are used to make this, it can change the density of the fiber. Well, what does that mean? The density change in the eco stuffing can result in creating more drag on your machine and in turn, it could actually blow out your motor because of how difficult it is to spin around, which is why we only recommend using eco fiber after it's been processed through one of our hurricane mulchers. Our fourth kind of polyfiber fill that we have at the Bear Factory is our hand stuffing fiber pack fill. As you can see, the quality of it isn't quite as luxurious as the other types of fill that we have, but the added benefit 
is that it's able to be compressed and vacuum sealed down into these portable compact units, which is gonna be great when you're using this for a hand stuffing experience because one fiber pack will fill one 16 inch buddy. Also, the cost to ship these is cheaper than the actual bulk fiber box cost for shipping any one of these three types of fiber as these come in 28 pound boxes of fiber. For example, on average, to ship one 28 pound box of fiber domestically here in the United States, you're gonna pay right around 18 to $20 per unit. One box of fiber, if you're not mulching it, is gonna stuff between 45 and 55 animals per box. Now, if you were to take that same shipping cost of 18 to $20 per unit with the fiber packs, we can fit 80 units of these vacuum sealed fiber packs into one case count for that shipping amount. Now let's talk about the different types of textures when it comes to our polyfiber fill. If we first take a look at our two inch, which is recommended for hand stuffing, as you can see, it's a lot denser and it's a little bit of a longer cut. So that two inch cut, because this is a hands-on experience for kids, we want a thicker or denser polyfiber because of that sensory experience that kids will, will go through when stuffing their animals. Now, what's not great about this is you don't wanna throw this into a stuffing machine because it is thicker, this will most certainly break your machine. So let's transition over into the inch and a quarter virgin. So this is a little bit of a shorter cut, hence the inch and a quarter. Um, the denier is the same as the two inch. However, it's going to be able to separate um, a lot more and volumize a lot faster because it has that shorter cut. Now let's take a look at the difference between the eco stuffing and the two virgin polyfiber stuffings. As you can see here, this is very dense. Um, it's a lot more compact. It has uh, tighter spirals. It is the same cut length as the virgin inch and a quarter, but because of the density, you really don't want to put this into a stuffing machine without mulching it first. Um, a fun pro tip is that in my personal experience, when I'm able to effectively mulch this through our mulcher and use it in a stuffing machine, I've actually found that I can regularly stuff um, about 85, maybe 90 animals per box of eco polyfiber fill. Because it's so dense, it can actually volumize rapidly and in turn increasing the yield per box that you're able to stuff your animals. The eco fiber is also a great sustainable option for when it comes to hand stuffing as well, which is why we recommend it for both hand stuffing as well as stuffing machines when properly mulched through a unit. Lastly, let's take a look at the fiber pack fiber like we talked about. Um, it's not, as mentioned, it's not as luxurious as these other ones. You can kind of see it doesn't have um, that nice shine finish that these other ones do. Um, it still feels nice, but in comparison, I really don't, you know, I really don't think there's much to compare to as far as uh, the two inch being um, definitely a better product, but the convenience of the amount of space that it saves and um, it being able to be vacuum sealed for transportation and the convenience of knowing exactly how much fiber each one of your customers is receiving. Those are some, some pretty significant pros, I feel, um, when utilizing the polyfiber stuffing packs for both 16 inch as well as eight inch. The last thing that we're gonna cover when talking about polyfiber is the difference between weight and volumizing. You know, we, we talked about that a little bit during our demonstration, but a lot of questions that we commonly get um, come in the form of, uh, you sell 28 pound boxes of fiber and the fiber packs come in five ounces. If you do the math, it would assume that the 28 pound boxes should yield a much higher rate. The reason why you can't compare those numbers directly to each other is purely predicated off of the quality of the fiber that we've talked about, where this is going, because this is a shorter cut, this is going to volumize a lot more. It's just, it's just not as high quality of a poly fiber, but 
Um, obviously, it, it can just volumize a lot more. The other issue that you're gonna run into is if you were to try to put this into a stuffing machine, you definitely need the longer length of fiber because this is going to mulch so quickly and become so expanded and filled with air, you're gonna find that you're gonna be getting a lot of static on the outsides of your machine. And it's, it's gonna be pretty difficult to stuff animals because you're gonna experience a lot of clogs with your unit, which is why you need something that's a little bit longer, a little bit denser, because it's just naturally gonna fall down in the hopper so that you can start stuffing your animals. That concludes our Polyfiber 101 video for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section as we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have.